so scary too because I come from war in my country. In my country, when the, the sirens are on, are on, are on for the bombing. Bombing. But sorry, <laughs> my English is not so good. Where we lived in London, most of the guys that lived in England and then some guys that lived in Australia, we never experienced racism. And I think we experienced it more here. I wasn't familiar with an um, American accent, so I thought people are speaking Spanish. So I was like, why people are speaking another language? <laughs> I was like, I didn't understand anything. And I studied more, but I was like, I can't understand. Like, people speak so fast. I didn't dream of, but coming here is... is it's a very big change. You even change your way of thinking. You think fast, it will actually... <laughs> How they can see with TH, because I speak French, I speak African languages, your tongue never comes out. So it took me time to figure out how they do, you know, three. I was saying tree, tree. Which kind of a tree are you talking about? <laughs> I consider myself and you should go in person, and that helps a lot. If you have an issue with something, you can search out help for that issue. So I feel that in, that in America, I have support from support groups, from other people that have, might have gone through some of the same problems that I have gone through, and that would balance my life out a little bit better because life is all about balance. The country of the opportunities and I really do believe that as long as you concentrate on what you want and as long as you are determined to achieve your goals. I can be Albanian enough and I can be American enough and feel right where I belong. But I think um, I really recommend people or immigrants to um, don't get disappointed, try and try and try more. I think what we have to do, we have to adapt.